before I got in touch with Vinny's, I was just in a bad state, like, yeah, like mentally, like physically. Yeah, it's pretty tough. And once you're homeless, it's sort of hard, like, people, like, say, get a job and that, but you got you got nothing, like, you don't know where you're going to be, so you can't go get a certain job, like, in an area and, and like, be close to that or because you just don't have, like, a like a foundation we we uh, set up at and whip out the help like to get um accommodation um moving forward just to be very hard sometimes just out of your control so uh the assertive outreach program is uh is, is a pilot program so there's three test sites one in sydney one in tweed and one in newcastle our model we've been running since 2019 and overall it's been a pretty successful model we are a team that are funded to uh, work with rough sleepers in the newcastle lga and what that usually looks like is, uh, you know, assisting people from sleeping on the street to temporary accommodation and then doing all of that uh, sort of back-end work to find them either a, a social housing property or a community housing property or a transitional property, um, the right property, uh, and um, assist them to move into that and establish themselves there so that they can hopefully live there forever. It's a very human approach to helping people. Um, you know, getting down to the bare bones of this person's sleeping there, we know they're sleeping there, let's not wait for them to come to us, let's go to them and then, you know, offer assistance. Um, I was homeless and the Surdy Outreach team um, put me up. First time I went and seen them, like, I was been in a bit of a bad way, you know, I only had one pair of clothes sort of like on me and that, and um, I seen them and they actually put me straight into a motel and also give me like food vouchers, um, help me get clothes and um, yeah, just yeah, put me in, in the motels. So. There's several things that have gone into play that's resulted in someone becoming homeless. It's not just because, you know, uh, it, it's, it, it's not just because people have made poor choices in their life, even though sometimes that does contribute, but I think it's, it's more about having awareness that yes, this is a problem. Um, most of the time it's, for reasons out of the person's control. Then I was lucky that the outreach team really found me and just put me in the motels. And then after that, it just turned my life around. Then they helped me um, get into my own house, or my own unit. When I got the unit, it was unfurnished. And um, they helped me get everything in there. So I got a new bed, new washing machine, uh, fridge, um, vacuum cleaner, microwave, kettle, everything, um, all cook cookware, towels. There's a brokerage component to uh, the assertive outreach team and um, usually what we uh, utilise that for is to assist people into their new tenancy or long-term accommodation and then to get them items that will help them establish themselves there. So um, all that stuff that you, you just don't think about when you're moving into a new place, or well, we, we all probably don't think about, um, but all the stuff that they probably don't have from from their time sleeping on the street. When I made a decision to like really change my life and um, get my life on track and um, just wanted to live life, um, there was a lot of steps I had to take and without Vinny's um, supporting me, um, I wouldn't be able to take them. Like by being on the streets, it's near impossible to be able to do that. But Joel is, is someone that's um really kick goals uh, and really taking advantage of, of the opportunities that's been provided to him. So he's, he's made leaps and bounds in his uh, recovery. Um, um, he's he's uh, bought himself a car, he's got his license back, he's re-engaging in the community, he's, um, he supports other people, which is really excellent to see people giving back once they've been received help. Um, and overall, you know, his affect has changed. Like I've always just wanted to get my life back on track and just over it all, like, I just want to do the right thing and that and um, sort of like make my dad proud of me too.